to khushi's point about every time we meet we have more losses uh, there was yet another loss yesterday uh, a very personal one for some of us uh, including myself and i wanted to um, just uh, take a moment to um, mention uh, this the loss of khushi shahid who passed away early this morning in lahore who began her career with all india radio uh, in delhi and went on to become a, a major television star and stage and television and music um, personality in pakistan and her son salman shahid um her only son salman shahid who i was married to and um, uh, they were a great they've been a great part of my life and um, so salman is the father of our only daughter maha so i wanted to just uh, make a mention of that because it was a very uh, yesterday this happened um what i wanted to uh, share here just now i'll just take literally uh, hopefully just a few uh, minutes um to just share why we are doing this khushi already has talked about it um uh, to to some extent um and i will um just take a few minutes to say who um how how this how how i came to to this so sapan for me is a story of connections and history and hope and it's something that began like in the 1990s when i joined the pakistan india peoples forum for peace and democracy but before that i had the story of my father dr mohammad sarwar who was i i consider him a people's doctor who wouldn't charge patients for their uh, artists laborers workers uh, people like that he often wouldn't charge them and after he passed away in 2009 so many people uh said how he did, how he didn't charge people and student activists who would go to him told me that they would go to him at the end of the day um because then he would just open his drawer and take out cash and just give them and by that that's the time when he would have the most cash from people in the neighborhood who would he would uh, you know charge whatever they could afford so uh, and he had been a student activist like i said uh, working for students rights as uh, as a medical student so this is the background that i had of my vision of what a doctor should be um and my father had shifa and um when i moved to lahore and that's when i was married to salman and uh, living in lahore for 11 years when i lived in lahore that's when i met dr mubashir hasan who told me once that he was a hawk turned dove and he was a very prominent political activist and also one of the co-founders of the pakistan people uh, uh, pakistan india peoples forum for peace and democracy along with his friend nikhil chakravarti and of mumbashir's uh, lecture in 2003 um for his friend the walls must come down is still so so relevant and um i think we we should share it with all our uh, participants so they can have a read it's a, a really excellent talk that he sent me so dr mubashir when i moved to the moving on to the next part when i uh, oh and uh, while i was in lahore also one of my mentors was asma jahangir who um was as as she said peace and human rights activists have to keep pushing the envelope no one is going to give it to them on a platter so we've been going at this going at this going at this but we can't stop right and the reason why all of us are here is because we believe in this um and then when i came here to boston dr mumbashir introduced me to his uh, to his friend uh, dr bernard lawn who he had stayed with um here in um, boston and dr lawn was a cardiologist turned peace activist and environmental ca campaigner who sadly passed away this year in february age 99 and he was a co-founder of the international physicians for peace uh, for the prevention of nuclear war and dr harun ahmed who khushi kabir mentioned earlier um, a comrade of my father's who unfortunately could not join us today because he's not well uh, he was one of he's a prominent psychiatrist Uh, was also part of the Pakistan chapter of the IPPNW, and this is a picture I took of Dr. Bernard Lawn signing a petition, uh, a statement, a statement we had put out for India-Pakistan peace. And at that time, when we did that statement, it was like, what's the point? How many statements are we going to do? But then, like one of uh, a parliamentarian in India who didn't want to go public with his statement, whatever, but said to me. that everything counts and maybe we can be like pebbles in the pond so you throw a pebble and it causes a ripple and it uh, you know uh, has a, this ripple effect 
So Dr. Bernard Lon was like, he signed, signed this thing and he had actually really uh, gone into, his, his focus had moved from nuclear, the nuclear weapons issue to environmental uh, campaigning because he said this is the biggest um, threat to humanity right now, bigger than the nuclear issue at this point. So Dr. Dr. Lan um, also wrote a couple of books that I think are very linked to what we are talking about here. Uh, the Prescription for Survival is his story of the IPPNW and how they organized it. And The Lost Art of Healing is about practicing compassion in medicine, which we, which many of us believe is like is no longer, um, it's, it's gone. It, it, medicine has become a corporation and institution, but the physicians who are here with us, I think, um, believe in this philosophy that uh, that uh, we are that I've mentioned earlier also. So for me, Sapan, the symbol that I had when I was thinking about all these years of working with Pakistan India people's uh, pe uh, Pakistan India issues, South Asia issues. Kanak Dikshit is here, who's one of my mentors, uh, the Himal South Asian, the South Asian vision. Um, so for me, all these things sort of started coming together over the last couple of years um, after Asma Jahangi passed away and I started thinking about all these losses and how we can take forward their legacy of all the people that uh, we also had in our slideshow that was shared earlier. So for me, I was thinking of a sphere and I found this image on the web that actually, um, you know, speaks to my, the vision that I had in mind, which is a, a sphere with nodes all around and inside and it's connected. Um, so Sapan for me is like, it's intergenerational, it's across the region, it's across, it's within the region, it's connecting communities, it's connecting, um, you know, areas like medicine, art, activism, um, and um, art literature, because Fez Sahab is a very important part of our narrative and he was a you know, and a mentor of my father's and of uh, Salima Hashmi's father, who's here with us today. Um, so uh, there, there's just, and, and Fair Saab's poems, as you know, are being sung in India. The students are, are singing Fair Saab's poems in India, and the students in Pakistan are singing um, the, the poems of Indian uh, poets in their, um, in their rallies and in their activism. So this is a long, like a silsila, a process that's continuing. And I'm so grateful to all of you who are here, and especially the young people who have joined because they are our, you are our future, Priyanka, Shuja, Vishal, um, and, and so many of you, I'm not going to name all of you, but uh, you, you are uh, Mandira and everyone. So I'm going to stop the screen share and I'm going to end here and hand it back to Priyanka. Thank you so much.